Hello YouTubers, welcome back to the channel again. We're going to talk about a little tool today that's used to crown a rifle or a pistol barrel. This tool would be excellent during a raw situation too, but the purpose of this is accuracy. Uh, even your top co competition shooters use these tools. And this is what it looks like right here. It's very inexpensive, but I have loaned this thing out more times than I know. I, I can even uh, remember. I mean, I have, matter of fact, I've had to track it down a couple times trying to figure out who, who had borrowed it. Uh, you get these inserts. That's a 22 caliber insert there. And if you'll notice here that the angle on those blades has got to be, at, they're at 11 degrees. And those blades will cut the end of that barrel. Now there's an old 22 that I've had for years and years. And this is just about real time in this video. You apply uh, pressure with the palm of your hand is the way I do it. And then uh, it, it'll have a few little chatter marks on it, so I'll spin it kind of fast. And I don't know if you can see them in the uh, screen there or not, but there's little lines, uh, and those are not needed in there. You need to get them out. And this is the way I do that. Th there's a 30 caliber right there that's my grandson's gun that you can tell that it has no chatter marks. And this is the way I get the chatter marks out of it. I take a piece of um, uh, sandpaper, um, uh, emery cloth, whatever you want to call it, and uh, I just use my thumb, and it takes a little bit of work, but you'll get all those out, and if you get them out, uh, that's really going to improve the accuracy, because that's what it's all about, you're trying to protect the end of that barrel, but now in a raw situation, uh, i got to fill in 16 inch barrel rules, you're not going to really matter much anyhow, so if you need to chop a barrel off quick, that thing right there will do it, and you'll still keep your accuracy. Now back to this 30 caliber, I want you to see this one, this, this is a Marlin 3030, and I went to a pawn shop, and they had five hanging on the wall, and I told them I want the ugliest, wore out looking this one you've got, and buddy, this was it. Uh, I took it, I repainted it with um, Remington 870 black Duracoat, and I cut about probably two inches off the buttstock, uh, bought me a uh, limb saver, uh, butt pad that was grindable. In other words, you can grind it down and make it fit. Uh, this is my grandson. He is nine years old. But this thing really turned out, out good. I mean, that was a project in itself. It, it didn't take me long. I just had to take it apart, uh, paint everything, let it cure for about six weeks. There's the boy. Uh, he's my little buddy. Uh, that was our first deer hunt, and uh, we had a really good time. And thanks for watching, guys.